Hey guys, this is my 99 Dodge Neon and you ever go to change your oil and you go to put your uh, oil plug back in and you only discover that this guy here has gotten stripped out, especially if you have the aluminum uh, oil pans on the bottom of your cars and SUVs. Well, I'm going to show you a quick fix a lot of people don't know about. Okay, so here we are right underneath the vehicle. So last night I go ahead and changed out the oil, dumped the old oil out. And I thought, well, I'll put the plug back in and we'll put new oil in today. But when I went to put the plug back in last night, I noticed it was a little bit of a problem. And as I stuck the plug in here and kind of turned it, it didn't feel right to begin with. So I figured, well, maybe it has a little dirt on the thread. So I just went ahead and tightened it down. And I want to show you, never a pretty sight. And uh, for, you, can, you can freak out if this happens. And you can see there the plug is just spinning around and around. And, of course, somebody has uh, stripped out the uh, aluminum threads on the inside of this uh, pan. So, uh, what I did, I, I knew they made these. It's been a while since I actually uh, got one of these. They make an extra uh, plug for this. It's an oversized uh, plug that you can put in your uh, pan. And what it does, it recuts the threads. Let me just go ahead and take this out here real quick. And you can see it is, uh, I mean, I can move it around. That's how loose it is in there. So the threads are pretty well shot, and uh, there's the old uh, plug. And let me show you what I went out and bought. Here's what I bought, something called a uh, oil, oversized uh, oil drain plug, and you can get these at the parts store. And a lot of people uh, don't know they actually make these for your uh, oil pan in case you strip out your threads on the plug. Now the, the bolt is fine, but like I said, inside the oil pan, the threads have gotten stripped out. Now if you look at this, uh, oversized oil plug there you can see it's got some cutting threads and it's designed to go in there and cut new threads and if I set it here just right you might be able to see how this one here is just a little fatter or a little wider than the original plug and the whole idea is you look, if you look straight down on it there it will get a good grip cut new threads and take care of that loose oil plug and also that seal will seal it from leaking so uh, we're going to stick this in, and if I even lay them like this, you can see the difference there. Now, my plug that I took out, the original plug, was a half inch. Right there. The one they gave me was a 5 8 or an 18 millimeter, or a 1.6 centimeter. But just go to the parts store, take your old plug, and work with them, and they'll hook you right up, especially at the parts store. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and stick this new guy in, and hopefully this will take care of my problem. I didn't want to change the oil pan out. I had one, but I figured, you know what, I, must, I think I can just put another plug in it, and it should take care of the issue. So, if you have this issue, even with the steel plugs, check one of these guys out first before you uh, start yanking your oil pan off. Just because of a plug, because these actually work pretty good. So, let's go ahead and stick this in and uh, see how it does. Alright, now before I start my new plug, you can see how bad the threads are. They are stripped pretty bad. <laughs> Some people should not be allowed to work on vehicles. They should be arrested. That's all I got to say about that. But anyway, so let's go ahead and see if we can get this uh, new drain plug started. It may take a little while to get it in there. The whole idea is you're going to have to probably force it in there. Then once it gets in there, it will grip and it will start uh, making its own threads. So uh, let me see what we can do here. All right, folks. Well, unfortunately, that's not going to work. Uh, I've done everything I could. There's no way this nut is going to tap into this aluminum oil pan with this 5 8 uh, inch uh, nut. And uh, so uh, what I did is uh, I went out and bought uh, one of these guys here, a little tap. This is actually a spark plug uh, tap. You can get these in different sizes depending on what bolt you want to put back in your uh, oil pan. Just match it up. And uh, I've actually got this started now, so it looks like I'm going to just have to tap this. And once I get it tapped and everything, then I can still use this. Uh, my point was, there's no way the, these threads will not tap into that aluminum. So I had to go out and buy one of these guys here. And this was only $6 at the uh, local parts store. So these are the things sometimes you got to do. Because I am not taking this oil pan off over a nut that uh, our bolt has gotten stripped off. So... As you can see here, I've got my threads uh, started here. You can uh, kind of see there going in. This will take just a little while because it's a pretty thick oil pan. So this is what I'm uh, this is what I'm doing now. So let me go ahead and finish up here and get these threads in here uh, 
thread it in and we'll see if this uh, 5 8 inch uh, drain plug will work. It should work okay. So let me go ahead and get these threads here. Uh, thread it in and uh, see if this is going to work out okay. Alright, in as about as far as I need for it to be. It's already gone through and you can always tell when they go all the way through. They start to turn really easy. So now all we got to do is back it all the way out and we'll see how our threads look. Alright, we're going to take this out and you can see all the aluminum that's coming out where the new threads were cut. And hopefully I can get this out my fingers. There we go. Alright. Of course I'm gonna of course I'm gonna have to clean all this up. And you can see all the uh, aluminum there. And it looks like I got me some new threads there cut. How about that? Yeah, alright. This is looking pretty good. So let me get some oil and kind of clean this up and we'll see if our plug there uh, starts. And that's the whole idea. This is probably a half inch to an inch thick there, so you have to go in pretty far. So, uh, yay. All right, let me clean it up here and see if we'll put our plug in, see if it'll work. All right, now as you see, I got my new threads, but the only issue I have now is this plug that I bought uh, earlier, I went out and picked up. Uh, I got the threads kind of messed up on it, so I went to the parts store and they didn't have no more. So they decided to order one for $2.39. It's not going to be here tomorrow, but me, I'm impatient. So what I did, I went to a local uh, tractor supply place, and I picked up this guy here. It's a uh, 5 8 inch metric bolt, and it will screw right in there. It's long, but what I'll do is go ahead and take my hacksaw and cut it in half, and uh, this should work pretty good. And voila, so for about $10... <laughs> And a couple uh, trips to the local parts store. Um, this should work out pretty good. So this will save you if you end up stripping your oil pan plug. Or if you get something that's stripped, I uh, highly recommend just go out and buy a uh, tap like I did. And just go ahead and tap it. Put new threads in it and get you a slightly bigger bolt. The key is whatever size tap you have here is the size bolt you want in. And uh, you can use metric or standard American size uh bolts just make sure like I said to tap and the bolts are the same size and looks like I'm just about ready to uh, wrap this up so I'm going to go ahead and cut this bolt down a little bit and finish up guys remember how long that bolt was well it is no longer remember it was pretty long I cut her in half with my little grinder I was going to use a hacksaw but I didn't feel like uh, cutting it and when you cut, any, cut your bolts, make sure you don't mess up the threads and make sure the starter thread, like right there where my thumb is, make sure it's not damaged. And it should be all right. And one other quick tip, put a little O-ring on there. Uh, I've got this kit that I've had forever. I pay $1.99 for it. And I'm telling you what, these things are lifesavers. So, uh, so to correct myself, for about $12, I fixed my oil leak and put a new plug in my oil pan. And it should work out pretty nicely. So let's go ahead and stick this in. Give you one more look here at the threads. Nice and threaded. Before, remember what it looked like? <laughs> it looked like crap. So now, I'll go ahead and start this in with fingers. And look at that. And that little O-ring on there will guarantee it will not leak again. I'm going to be really happy. I'm going to be about as happy as a pig in a Mississippi thunderstorm. Wallering in the mud. It's going to be really good. So all i got to do now is tighten this down. And one other tip, don't tighten these down to 100 pounds. I've seen some guys tighten these down so much that it's impossible to get off. These only have to be tightened, torqued about 25 pounds. Just a good, nice, hard snug. Nothing more. That's why these get stripped. So having said that, we'll wrap things up here and we'll go ahead and put some oil in it. And I'll let it run for a little bit and we'll check it for leaks. All right, guys, the car's been running for about a half hour. Let me go shut it off, and we'll go under here and look. And we'll see how it looks. Seems like I got oil leaking under there. Before I wrap this video up, and check that baby out. It is dry. That's exactly what I wanted. So that's how uh, you can fix your oil pan drain plug if it's stripped. A little hot there, but... No leaks. Before it leaked and this was all stripped out and uh, looks like I fixed it. So I hope this helps you guys out. And uh, I guess this will be about the end of the video. And I think for about oh, $13 I, for everything. 
I fixed this. So uh, there you go. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And uh, if you have any questions, I'll try to answer them. And uh, other than that, if you strip your uh, oil pan uh, drain plug, don't freak out. Just get you a tap. Retap it and put you another bolt in it, and it should work out. Because I almost was ready to pull the oil pan off and put another one on it, but I found out I don't have another oil pan. I gave it away. I'm quit. As of today, I'm going to quit giving stuff away. <laughs> I always get punished for that. All right, until then, until uh, my next video, guys. See you later, and uh, be careful.